This is El Castro on Living Gray. It's great to have you today. And thank you for listening and watching. Uh, I just want to tell you that you are very important. You're very, very valuable. You know why? Because you were created in the image of God. The one who created the world. The one who made the world. The one whose mind manifested through creation. And he sent his son Jesus Christ to die for you. To save you from, from the destruction of sin. So that's why we become righteous when we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord, as our Lord and Savior. Alright? He's risen from the dead. And we can call him. He's a living. They call him living God because he is really a living God. Today I want to share with you and remind you of that. Alright? Because you are amazing. You're intelligent. You're bright. You're smart. Beautiful. And good looking. And you have a great potential in your life. Alright? All right, I want to share with you today the book of uh, wisdom from the book of Proverbs chapter 12 verse 9. And let me read that to you. It says here, Better is the one slighted, but has a servant. Better is the one who is slighted, but has a servant. Than he who honors himself, but lacks bread. Than he, than he who honors himself, and lacks bread. This is very, very deep, and very, very nice. Slighted means that you're insulted. Slighted means that your people destroy you. The antonym of the antonym of that is antonym. That's respect. Respect it says here, but the one there is one who's slighted. There is one who's insulted. There is one who is looked down. There is one who is not respected in life. But is rich, is wealthy, and as a servant. Don't just the book by Scober unless you have seen and check the book out. Are you gonna judge this book because of its cover? Very nice title, Napoleon Hill's Keys to Success. But unless you read what's inside of it, you'll really see the wisdom comes that is here in this book. The same thing with the Bible. You know, some people reject the Bible, but they never know the secret that's inside the Bible. There's life in the Bible. It's not just words. This is an, The Bible is an inspired word of God. And whenever you read it, I know somebody, one of our church uh, believers there, he was changed by reading, just reading the Word. You know, when we read the Word, when we read God's Word, when we read something, it changes us. That's why we go to school to learn more because the school is the sea of learning. <laughs> the library is a sea of knowledge. When you observe, there's a lot of things to, you can learn in life. But there, is no, there is no such thing as you will go down and you will not succeed. Why? Because there's a lot of things that would suggest about success. And there's a lot of lessons that we can learn from others peop other people's lives. And that is so true. It says here, He who honors himself lacks bread. Well, lacking bread is, means that you don't have anything. If you can, you know, you maybe you're not the one who honor, you honor yourself, you know. You give self-importance. Of course, we're important in the sight of God. But if you could, when elevating yourself, it's like I, 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 sometimes uh, it doesn't do, you, do us any good. But if we are humble, and yet we possess blessings, humble and yet we are intelligent, humble and yet, you know, they can never judge you. Because it's not about how you look outside, but who you are inside. I might have the best handbag, but I don't have anything inside of it. I might have the best house looking, good looking house, but when you enter in, nothing is inside. I might have the best clothes, but my health is not good. 
I might have the best face, you might have the best face, we might, people might have the best face, but they, they don't have anything in their mind. They know nothing. So, it's alright when people will look down on you, be strong, insult you, be strong. Remember this, what's inside of you is more important. And that is the key to a successful life, spiritually, financially, educationally, relationally. What's important is what's inside you. You're rich inside. You're wealthy inside. Because if you're wealthy inside, automatic it shows outside. You don't have to brag. You don't have to show up, show out. You don't have to make some displays. The most important is who you are inside. You're strong. You got God in you. You got knowledge in you. You got, you got a big confidence in you. That is the most important thing in life. Alright? I hope you got something today in our broadcast. Alright? Alright. Remember, never ever give up. Have a positive attitude. Have a positive attitude. You are very important. If you can pray, you can win. Nothing is impossible with God. Remember, remember you have a great potential in you. Alright? You have greatness in you. You are great. So live great. Visit my Facebook account, Al Castro. Or write us or come and attend our Believers Meeting every Sunday at 15949 Kaplan Avenue, City of Industry, 91744, California, USA. Alright, this is your friend Al Castro. Remember, live great because you are great. Bye. Take care.